How do you modernize legacy enterprise applications without breaking anything? Moving to microservices-based architectures may be easier than you think, or at least easier than it was a few years ago. My name is Maya Vukovic, and today I will share with you how to use AI to automate application refactoring. In 2021, we have launched Project CodeNet, a data set consisting of over 14 million code samples derived from half a billion lines of code in over 55 languages. As the community of developers, engineers, and researchers grew, there were new additions to the project CodeNet. One such uh, advancement is Project Minerva for Modernization. Project Minerva for Modernization tackles the challenges in automated application refactoring. So let's take a look. Typically, enterprise legacy systems have followed a three-tier application um, uh, architecture, starting with the top layer being UI, followed the business by business logic, which talks and interacts with one or more databases. Within the business logic layer, there are multiple programs and classes talking and depending on each other, and some of them may no longer be used. Most of the traditional approaches to application refactoring aim to derive the more microservices architecture. What does that mean is that the business logic gets partitioned into multiple microservices, each of which is meant to be more individual, stand on its own so that you can easier detect faults. It's easier to have individual teams looking after them, and it's more easier to manage them once deployed. Each of them also talks to a separate database. However, with uh, existing algorithms, what sometimes might happen is that the classes that form these microservices, they actually might be more tightly coupled, which results in a distributed monolith or requires additional rewrite to handle and orchestrate these dependencies. Similar problems might arise from distributed transactions that get essentially uh, broken as part of the modernization journey. So with Project Minerva for modernization, we tackle these challenges. How does this work in practice? We bring together innovation from program analysis, coupled with advances in AI and machine learning, to improve the partition quality of microservices. We all know the complexities of the airline travel and booking the trips. I will Let's step, step back and look how typically um, an application would, would work. Let's zoom into the couple of classes, such as classes A, B, and C. Class A is order ticket bin. Class B is buy ticket action, which calls and relies on the config ticket class. Now, most of the algorithm we just observed, the call flows between the, uh, between the classes, would recommend that order ticket bin might form one microservice and that B and C are bundled together in the microservice too. However, as you dig deeper, there's actually a dependency and tight coupling between the uh, two classes. In the, within the heap, they share a couple of objects such as SQL handler, and ticket object. Moreover, they both write to the same database. So with the following recommendation, you would actually have to do some work to remediate that high coupling between the A, tight coupling between A classes A and B. And this is where the algorithm cargo steps in, which is part of the project Minerva for modernization. It actually observes the code and data entanglement and resolves the remediates distributed actions. So based on these observations, Cargo would actually recommend that classes A and B form by microservice and class C is separated in another. It essentially improves the quality of the partitions. Now, it may look too simple, there are three classes, but we all know the complexities of the airline systems. You have multiple databases, points, users, flights, and so on. You have thousands, tens of thousands of classes and multiple interactions. So you really need a lot of effort to carve out a, a ideal um, partitions. We have applied cargo algorithm on a number of um, sample applications. And in addition to remediating distributed um, transactions, 
It also helps uh, lower the latency and increase the throughput. Moreover, it also improves the quality of the partitions. What it means, it reduces the coupling and increases the cohesion of microservice partitions. Cargo need not only be applied to the modernization scenarios. In fact, Cargo can also help you analyze net new developed microservices and improve their quality. With this, I would like to invite you to join program, uh, Project Minerva for modernization. As we soon are going to be launching challenges, please join us on this mission on improving and advancing the state of the art in application refactoring. Thank you.